Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel. And today is Saturday, and today we are watching a movie. So, continuing on with my, my British content. Today I'm watching Scum. Scum. I think um, I know it stars Ray Winston. Ray Winston is super famous, in Britain at least. A super famous, brilliant actor. Um. I know Ray Winston's this. I've seen the posters. I've seen the like um, the thumbnail art, sort of thing. So I know Ray Winston's this. I think it's um, I think it's a prison, sort of thing, set in the seventies, maybe possibly seventies. Looks like seventies, or possibly nineteen eighties. And I think it's quite violent, right? It looks like one of those um. Super violent prison things they had at the time. Uh, that kind of was a, a government effort to make prison look as violent as possible to deter people. But there was a lot of these kind of things around in the 70s and 80s, right? Mark prison look as bad as you possibly can to make people not want to get there, go there. And that's about all I know. Um, if you like this kind of content, push subscribe, leave a like. If you want me to continue, go down the UK, British, Scottish, English route. If not, I'm just gonna like. I am gonna do this, but I'm just gonna pick and choose just what I like, right? Just what I want to do. Of course, I'll be covering the new Top Boy, Gangs of London, other excellent content. But I'm, it's not gonna be exclusively, right? Ex exclusively. Again, if this is your first time, my tooth fell out like a month ago, and I can't get seen till December. So I've been struggling with. Certain words, right? So that's, that's it. I think our book covers it, right? Ray Winston, violent. Please subscribe, leave a comment, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so it's a scum. Double, double, double. Come on, Coon, move it. Over yeah. There. Well, so this is... You, is me. this, um... This is in prison. This is Brussels. This is, um... Get up straight Young away. offenders. Name and number. 4737 Carling. Carling. So this is the daddy. The daddy. The hard case. Don't look much to me, Carling. Mmm. You're the little toe rag the officer at Rowley. Really? Fancy yourself, dear That's car. funny, that. Bumping officers, eh? Oh, we check People it. like that, right? Because so outside of those walls, you wouldn't speak to him like that. Right? Out. Outside of them walls, you outside of that room, you wouldn't right? speak to him like that. But because of the job you've got, you think you're... Yes, sir. Dickhead. And what did you hear? Nothing, sir. Well, I'll tell you here and now, lad, that nothing was not the correct information. Because we're having your stinking hooligan guts for garters. <coughs> See, even back then... Even back then, how did they think this helped? Like, you take violent people and you inflict it with violence. Was that thought to have helped back then? Was that, did they actually think it would help? Or were they just sadistic pricks? I mean, because if you take kids and you harden them, and then you release them, that's, that's not a good thing. By the way, this is well remastered for, for the, the time. It looks, right. the film stock looks, looks good. Greaves, I'm the, the resolution officer, looks good. And I run a wing. I run it. Right, Carlin? Yes, sir. I'm down heavy, very heavy on anyone who doesn't grasp that fact. Now, Angel, you're in a single room. Some of the lads here can be what you might call prejudiced. And you're well advised to keep yourself to yourself. It's your first ball still in it, lad? Yes, sir. Apart from the scrubs. Well, forget the scrubs, the holiday's over. Move! Davis, you were fool enough to run away from an open ball still and you'll very soon be wishing you were back there. And you're in a single room. Carlin, you're in a dormitory. Come on! 
Which would you prefer? I would like a single room, obviously. Obviously, that's the, the, the thing there. You'd want a single. There's a lad. Big lad called Pongo in that bed. He heard you were coming. Carlin, we don't leave our bed space in that condition in here. Make up your bed pack and put your gear away. On the double! Next time you're on report. Next time you're on report. We're doing absolutely nothing. Clocks. See, that's the thing, eh? Like, eventually, eventually you push people too hard and they'll push back. He's there, familiar. Who's he? Oh, Jesus. Why is he got fucking shoes on? He's got a slugger, don't he? He's got a confident walk. Fucking yes. Possibly. Quite clearly. I'm a vegetarian, Carlin, and I've read the rule book. I refuse to wear leather on my feet. I get extra potatoes as substitute for meat, and I'm allowed fish when on the menu. Just told him I was Christ. Christ. Some cunning bastard had a typical flash of genius, and they banged me. I think Jesus Christ. A, the governor's a religious maniac. B, they'll knock the shit out of me. How long have you done altogether then? Sixteen months. Jesus Christ, you must love it. <laughs> Not having me the bastards. I don't eat shit for anyone and I don't give a monkeys if I do the full two years. Davis, up. <laughs> Davis, you're nothing. I'm the daddy here and I run this wing. You pay your dues like the rest. Payday, you deliver a quarter of your snap to strike the year. Every week. On the dot. I don't smoke. Well, you fucking will do now, Slag. Notice you walk out of the room and grab the smallest guy. Grab the littlest guy. It's not time about. It's some sort of message. And these little tits walking behind them. Always behind them. Stand up, coon. Name and oh. number. Up to attention when I come in here. Oh. I said, he said, ask him this. What's this then? How many feet, lad? What do you think this is? Stand up. Name and number. Angel, sir. Number? Can't remember, sir. Can't remember your number, lad. That's all you are, a number. A number. Four digits. Oh. That's all you are. Who did this? Hmm. What, sir? Don't give me this boy. He knows who did it, though. He knows who did it. Fighting? Those damaging government property, are we, you black bum? Oh. No, sir. Then what the hell are we doing, you black Brixton slave? Oh. Nothing, sir. Fighting. You're booked for fighting. Governor's report, right? I wasn't. Right? And we sign attention. I mean, you can say if you like about racism, and none of it's okay, but that was acceptable back then. Like, mind blowing, fucking mind blowing. And they expect these kids to go out here reformed, or do they just not care? I'll run this fucking gaff, and you're dead if you come any of it in here. I'll leave off with you. I don't give a fuck who the dead is. I don't want no trouble, so just piss off and let me get on with yeah. time, alright? We'll give you time, you bastard. You wanna? Scurrying a little prick. Oh! I've got a feeling the man's got a grill at, right? I've got a feeling that, like, it's one of those things you push, you push, you push, and then you push too far, right? I mean. There's got to be payback for that. Do you want... Brought him a radio? You can borrow it till you get one sent in. No thanks, I don't need one. I'll leave it over here, right? You can let us have it back later if you don't want it. Uh, we'll give him a radio, then he reported it stolen. On your feet, lad. It's not what he did. 
You in snake. You're right. Whose radio is this, Davis? That's Eckersley, sir. What's it doing in your room? He lent it to me, sir. Come on, lad, let's have the truth. You've yeah. nicked it, haven't I'm you? Sorry, you Steve. nicked it, lad. Don't bullshit me. So you're asking, you've watched it in himself, sir. Morning, Mr. White. Morning, sir. Morning, Mr. Whittle. Everything looks fine. Thank you, sir. So you've got to turn off every meal. Which I suppose is reasonable, right? At least he's, he's um, paying attention. At least he's um, taking an interest. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, little Carl, you were transferred to me because you assaulted an officer at your previous post, although heaven knows what they expect me to do with you. However, I will have no violence in this institution. There is no violence. Mm. In Apart from the guards. Apart from the, the, the guards dish new violence. I took it, all right. Three days solitary in the block. Loss of earnings for two weeks. About turn. Out! Out! Come on, Carly, move it! There is no violence in this institution. None. And Carly is like, here is he? He's ready to fucking go. Ready to break. I'm granting your request to marry, Betts, and I hope this may induce you to work hard, cooperate. One month hence, released for four hours under escort to marry. To be fair, I'd guy this seem reasonably f to be fair, he seems fair. To be honest, he seems reasonably fair. Right? He's in a job. Right, how'd you go? About to earn quick march. Yeah, he's like um, authoritarian and sharp. But he seems very straight. Play by the rules. Oh, here's Archer. Ah, oh, Archer. It's all rigid. <laughs> he fucking hates him. Look at his face. Disdain. Ooh. You appreciate that? Yes, sir. No objection to plastic, have we? I'm finding myself strongly drawn to Mecca. Oh, my God. Sir. Very strongly indeed. Oh, jeez. Mecca, Archer! Yes, sir. It's something stirring within me, sir. Archer. Oh, I'm sure you understand what I mean, sir. I'm sure you... He's, um... The governor's quite reasonable until you mention Islam. And then he's like... He's got to do something. Finally. He's actually got to do something. He's got to do something. Holy shit. Who's he going for, Pongo? Or one of the fucking little testicles? What's up with you, weirdo? You want striping? Striping. You might get left alone here, but I'll cut you a bleeding ribbons if I get any of mm. your pots in there. Oh, yeah. Well, you Oh! Back, Ross! I said, get back, shitty. Yeah, I said, Dune. The so sewer's gonna be payback for us, though, right? There's gonna be payback for this. There's gonna be revenge. He's um, he's starting something. Oh, 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 Why is he so keen for him to be the bully, but Nick Harling? Why is he so keen for him to be the daddy? Carling! Sir? You're really for it, isn't Yeah. Thanks to Richard's a both no, you. You'll get three years for this scum. Move it, you prick. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You fucking well will, toe rag. Mm. I run this wing. And I'm having it disrupted by a dirty little backstreet villain like you. You'll sign a statement downstairs. I've got nothing to say, sir. I'd like to see the house master. Oh, you mm. will, Carlin. You will. And the governor, sir. I've got a witness. Shit, witness. I'm having you, lad. No, you're there. You banged that officer at Rowley. He must be thinking you've walked quietly away from that one. But he's here. He's me. 
There's every fucking screw in this ball still, every one of us. Come on, big man. I didn't bang no screw, I retaliated. There was two of them kicking their shit out of me. We'll retaliate here. You think people just gravitate to jobs they cut because you want to slap a lot of kids around? The smile, though. The smile. Because he knows he ain't got shit. What? Baldy, the tinted daddy man from b -Wing. He wants to meet you. But I don't talk to shit. Mm. He wants to meet Carly. We know what for. Mm. He's a right old guy. 40 pence a quid, that's it. I can't go with that car, you will cut my fucking throat. Yeah, well, that's the way things are now, mate. 40p that or nothing. But don't you see, if banks pay 50, I've got to give them less. That's psychology. If I want to keep hold of them, I've got to be harder than him. So, for everyone who spends a quid, one pound then, they get 45 pence back. That's a tax. The daddy talks is all the money coming in. If there's any bother, we'll have your bleeding guts. Right? I said right. Yes, sir. On your way. Oh, no. Come on, come on. This isn't racial, it's a game. No. The coach is punching people. No strings. Get it down, you sharpish. Vegetarians, I'll shit them. <laughs> <laughs> That old baldy says the boiler house tomorrow. There'll be a whole crowd of us there shoveling shit. This is just you and him. What? So it's a fight to see who's the daddy of the whole place. Where's your tool? What fucking tool? Fucking hell. This fucking tool. Do you want some this more? fucking tool. Yeah, Jesus. I'm going to tell you once. Just once. You listening to me, Coon? Yeah. You run Bewey. Right. All right. But for me, I give the orders. Right. Yeah. Fucking hell, Carling. Whoa. I was quick, I was um, sharp. Look, he seems there, mildly impressed. Oh, fucking depressing, look at that shit. Oh. Come on, you lot! Look at this floor! Get it clean! Move yourselves! Slosher's been quiet, ain't he? Slosher's been invisible for the last half hour. Yeah, he's suffering. Look at his wife. And there's no compassion. Ah! Right? <laughs> the doctor? Nurse? I am... Um... Happy. I am happy. Good for you, mate. Good for you. Report to my office. Because he's happy. Yes, sir. Four seven two one Archer, sir. Ah, uh, Archer. Insolence, graffiti. Guilty. Misplaced trust, sir. Has Mecca these days, Archer? No further information through as yet, sir. Although I am meditating, whenever possible. I see. 
Have you read Alan Brooks' book on Churchill, Roger? I don't believe I've had that literary pleasure, sir. You should. You should. Why is he trying to push British volumes above all else? And the whole of Sea Wing thought the fish was bad, James. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, that fish was not bad. But I do admit it may have seemed strong. Strong, yes. Strong. I that, but it was not bad. What do you mean, strong, Mr. White? Probably some of this new Atlantic fish they're bringing out, sir. You mean rotten? Rotten fish, mate. You served them rotten fish. I took it the governor didn't taste that bit. The batter's are soft, sir. <laughs> well, it always is. I mean, the whole wing moans about it. Mr. White. Of course the batter's soft. It's impossible to make crispy batter. In all my years catering in all kinds of institutions, I've never been able to make crispy batter. Ah. It's impossible to make crispy butter. My mind. My mind. What's that? Nothing, sir. The other guy's dead. Yes, well, I the guy who cut his wrists, he's dead. Right? Wings, At the margin, it's something. Because he is deflated. And Meekin is satisfied with the batter explanation. Yeah, Meekin doesn't care anymore. Meekin's just got some bad news. Meekin, stand up. He's oh, he's dead! He's killed himself in the scrubs. He's dead! Look, a solid guy cut his wrist on A-Wing and you send him to the scrubs to kill himself! He's dead! In. Up. 3-3-1-8, Meekin, sir. In. Archer. There was no exercise today, sir. Request to see the governor. Oh, sir. Jesus. Dirty cell, Archer. Governor's report. When I get out of here, the big time, big stuff, I've got some ideas. But that's one thing about the Nick. He never come out short on ideas. Yeah, planning. That's all it needs planning. And plenty of bottle in, bang, and out. No shortage of birds then. Yeah, but I never have been short of birds. Always have plenty of crumpet after me. Mm, of course you do, mate. Bert Reynolds. Watch your mouth, Jackson. The only crumpet you've had is with your fist. Yeah, and you'll be getting my fist Will in a minute. Leave off, will you? We're sick of hearing you do. Oh, hey, hey. Hark at our bent friend. You two fancy yourselves, eh? Piss off. You two couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. I'll have you, Rose. I'll cut it out, Richard. Cut it out, Richard. You got some front, and ya? We all saw how big you were when Carlin sorted you out. Yeah. You and your mate, Pongo. If there's any more bother, you'll get it again. Nicholsley's due for me steps out of line. You know that, don't you, shithead? Yeah, when anyone comes near me, he gets striped. Striped, really? I'm at Rude Age. Really? Just remember, shitbag, that people get moved around. And Carlin ain't gonna be here changing your nappies forever. The way he's arse licking, he'll be out in a month. And I'm gonna carve you two bastards up. First chance I'll get. Just remember that, the perrier. Fuck me. What do you want? Oh. Ah, ow, oh. Turn him over. Ow, oh. No. Please no. 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 Please no. 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 Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. I just gotta be edited to anyway. I'm gonna be fucking showing us. Jesus. Is he fucking smiling? Is he smiling? Sadistic motherfuckers, man. Sadistic motherfuckers. Come on outside, you lazy bastards! Davis, what are you doing there? What happened? Yeah, you know what happened, you fucking well, prick. I saw it. Nothing, sir. I fell, sir. Fall back onto your feet. I ain't sitting there. Not bad tomorrow, though. 
on the gardening detail. <laughs> I like that. Get some air. Get some air, like yeah. <laughs> gardening detail, why not? Nah. <laughs> Jesus. You on gardening tomorrow and all. Your name's on the list. I'll see you then. See, and he could have said, he could have said to Carling, I suppose, but he said to him. So a lot of luck when he thought about it, he just, he considered asking him to, or Sam, asking for help, but the humiliation, I guess, uh, you can't really see what happened. Is he about to get told to just shut up and keep quiet? Alright, Davis, what is it? Speak up. Why do you ring that bell? Don't you know it's an offence? It's an offence. Why the fuck's it out then? Frightened. And then close my eyes, nightmares. I feel bad, depressed. I don't know what to do. Cut that out, Davis, or I'll give you something to cry about, you mardy ass little toe rag. You touch that bell again for no fucking reason. I'll have you down the block before your feet touch the ground. Compassion, eh? Jesus. No rehabilitation, no compassion. Just punishment. Just total punishment. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. What's your car? What's your car? Oh. oh no, oh no. Oh, he's got a push button and he's got to ignore it. Oh no. So he did it and then he regretted it. Davis, you lazy twat, out! Hmm. And you turned a blind eye, you fucking scumbag. And a normal person, a normal person would feel guilty about us, right? No, dickhead, look at him. Couldn't you give a fuck? Prick. And nobody's like, ambulance, doctor, help. Nah, leave him. Fuck you. It's powerful though, right? You're showing these people that as a group, they are not in charge. He's not in charge. Oh shit, they're writing. They're fucking writing. It's people power, eh? That's people power. They're all getting shit for it. But at that moment... Holy shit. Holy fuck, they're just beating the shit out of everyone. So unfortunate, right? We are all accident prone. Even 
Ochsenbrunn. Friend, is your friend with he? Was he your friend? It's always 1979 scum. I wanted to take a minute and let it sink in to give my thoughts rather than do it immediately after. Um, it's powerful, right? It's um, it's a, it, I guess it's a glimpse into a, a past world, right? Thankfully, seemingly long gone from society these days. I mean, I'm sure things like that still happen in pockets, but that was that was the norm back then. Right? I was I was near the exception. I was the rule. I was the thing, and I guess we will get to that. First of all, first of all, see for a film made in 1979, and it's it's been remastered. It was remastered really really well right that's like that's like that's like spot on i'd almost almost you you couldn't differentiate between a film made much much later on a lot of films made in the 70s you see the film stock and it's grey and it's not got a good resolution i was honestly i was i was spot on i was i was really well done and then to the nature of the film the way they shot it right see the the drab colors right like the colour schemes let you feel the mundanity, 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 mundanity of the thing, right? Like, it seemed like in the film you had mundanity interspersed with periods of extreme violence, right? Like, a lot of times we're being violent just because they're so fucking bored, right? Why not? Um. And I don't think they use music, right? See, a lot of films use music to set atmosphere and stuff, and they didn't do that, right? They didn't. They, they didn't use any. As far as I remember, I don't think they used music at all. Right? It was just dialogue and color and the way they shot it. Right? A lot of times you heard footprints, footsteps. Do 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 do. I was sort of the setting the tone, right? They march and they run and they fast they. Guards, is it guards, warders, wardens, footsteps that would set the tone for it. The actors, the actors did a spectacular job, didn't they? I felt sometimes the dialogue was a bit amateurish, right? The dialogue was a bit, I'm the daddy now and I will kill you. I feel like if I was done today, it would be mere nuance to it, right? But it seemed to be. You're getting the message across, right? And and I kind of, and I kind of heavy fist, heavy handed kind of way, right? Like I said, the dialogue seemed a bit amateurish. The actor thought did a splendid job. The guy who played Archer, brilliant. Ray Winston, it started his career, brilliant. You could see why he became the success he did. You could see um with Ray Winston the emotions in his in his face, right? He didn't say much, as um Carling. He didn't say much, but you could tell the emotions, the fear, I guess, the anger, and then later on the cockiness, right? You can see it all, the expressions in his face, and he's got a walk, right? He's got a strut, no matter what was happening. He does some um, confident strut, right? And it, it shows through. The theme of the film was about bullying and violence. So you take a bunch of violent people, because most of them, well, a lot of them, were probably in there for violent crimes and you subject it to more violence from the guards right from the system the guards would give them a smock and that's how they thought they kept them in line and i think that was really how they believed it right you instill fear in them right you instill fear and it keeps them in line but then once you take these kids and they let them out they they believe that fear is is how you get people's respect right smock them about push them about fear is how you get respect might is right and violence is how you solve things you know it's instilled in them and you saw the governor character saying there's no violence in this institution yeah I mean, there's violence 
all over an institution, starting with the guards. Right, starting with the guards. The guards are just awful people. And I wonder if, again, I think I said it in the reaction, do you gravitate to that kind of job because you're a dickhead or does that job make you a dickhead? Right? Do you just get sucked into the culture of it with other guards who were there a long time and you get brought up and you think, this is how you have to react, act. This is how you have to act. It's a question, right? Again, it comes down to um, punishment. What is the punishment? Is the punishment loss of liberty or is the punishment being physically punished by these guards and by the bigger inmates, residents, or who are? Um, and I guess another shocking thing about us with the blatant racism, right? Blatant racism. Like, if you're black, you are called names constantly. But here's the thing, right? In this has got something so stupid and it is, it's got something ridiculous and racism is never good but apart from the name calling I didn't think the black residents prisoners, whatever I didn't think they got treated any worse because they were black, right? the guards treated everyone like shit you called them black and stuff because that was kind of the culture back then but they never really treated them any differently, right? You're all scum. The hell lot is our scum. You just had a different skin colour. So we'll, we'll we'll point out your different skin colour, but you're still getting treated like shit, regardless, right? So we get through the whole thing. Carling and a couple of others come to um this institution Carling is there because he took a blame for something his brother did. He gets he's in there for something his brother did in I guess he knows how to look after himself, right? He's moved to this new place because he assaulted a guard in the last place he was at, right? Then he comes across um, the bullies in the place led by a guy called Banks, who is the daddy, and daddy is the name for the boss, I suppose. Sounds a bit weird to me. I'm the daddy. All right, mate, you can be the daddy if you fucking want. Thank you. So you've got Banks and you've got these two little helpers. Slasher. Is a slasher. Like, the guy's like five foot one. And he's, he's trying to throw his weight around because he's standing behind the bigger guy, right? And eventually they push Carling too far. And I'm not sure if he would have done it anyway, right? They push Carling too far. Carling snaps, beats the shooter Banks, tells everybody else to fall in line. And then Carling becomes Banks, right? So Carling's supposed to be the protagonist of the story, the hero of the story. But then he becomes the daddy and he becomes the same, right? Because to get the respect, you've got to be violent. You've got to. You've got to tax them. You've got to do all the things Banks was doing. And I, I guess that's the nature. Even the racist comments, because it was so commonplace at the time. The, it, it wasn't necessarily seen as racist, right? Although it was, and thank God we're past that stage in society, right? Like, like none of it's okay, and we are not perfect, but thank God we are not still there, right? Like, we have got better. We have improved in every way, I think. We're not those people anymore, and that's good. Um, two tragedies, I guess, in the, the show, and it shows you the, the lack of empathy. One guy, his wife, dies and he gets told by a letter he gets told by a very cold letter by the way your wife's dead got to go to Lou from her parents which is fucking weird mate it's like oh so disconnected like your wife's dead see you later and eventually he cuts his wrist right he takes a bit of metal sticks in his wrist the guards it seems like take him and lock him in his room and he dies and I would guess it gets covered up, right? And then the next absolute tragedy, which is heartbreaking, is a boy, Davis, who you want to see it in the reaction. But if you're watching the film, he got assaulted in a different way, right, by three guys. He got assaulted in a different way. One of the wardens, one of the guards, sees it happening, right, and ignores it, covers up for him. 
watches it happen to the little guy. He goes back to his room. He can't sleep. He is haunted by this. He learns he's going back to the same place tomorrow. He's on the same like work duty tomorrow. You can see it'll probably happen again. And at night, he calls the guard, right? He pushes the panic button in his cell. He calls the guard. The guard says, I'm relaxing. You push it button again. I broke your fucking legs. Something similar. <laughs> and tragically, right? The guy cuts his wrist massively and the shot so well. Under white colours, pumping the red blood up to show you the running blood, the spurts. And then you can see he did it and then he regretted it, right? He cuts himself, he regrets it, he runs to try and push a buzzer. The guard clean ignores him, right? And he's found in his bed the next day, dead. On Karen Pricks. These people are here to do a job. You're here to protect. You're here to look after them, right? Like, this is Borsal. This is not auto prison. This is Borsal. These are kids, right? And you should be helping. Like, if you want to do that kind of job, you should be able to help. Not just, I'm reading my paper, fuck off. Devastating. So he's dead. And then I guess the next day at the Chow Hall, everybody protests, starts smashing the place up. And then the last scene you see, I think it's Carling, Archer, and somebody else who got beaten really badly by the guards, and they're getting dragged back to their cell, right? To show that you can protest and everything, but nothing will change. The system, you will not beat the system. They are the system, and you can't beat it. But yeah, it's powerful. Powerful, powerful film about the institutional violence the 1970s like I says we are not perfect the the justice system isn't perfect far from it but we are not that anymore and thank god so um yeah and um, leave a comment tell me what you think do you like the film have you seen it before leave a like subscribe all the rest of the stuff and I will catch you next time